Hey everybody, how you doing tonight? Woo! Alright, hey, give it up, give it up for Barry, who does this amazing, has this amazing organization, and um, you know, as a person who's a former uh, public school teacher, I can't tell you enough how much um, music changes life, the li lives of children. So, all that you can do to support this amazing organization, please do. So I'm going to start us off. My name is Lucas Mayhara. It's so great uh, to see you guys out here. This is a song going to be off uh, our new album. It's called Lost and Found, and this is the title track. Um, I, I spent some time working on the Bowery Mission over on the Bowery in, in, in on the Lower East Side, and I uh, met this guy one time. Um, I, I, was, I was basically making peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and serving coffee, and I just met this guy. And he just told me the story about sort of like how he, he had this radiant smile on his face. And I was, you know, and I'm thinking, God, the guy's homeless, but he's got this radiant smile on his face. I was like, why are you so, <laughs> you're really happy. What, what's going on, man? And he said, you know, he got an SRO. I was like, what's that? I got a single room occupancy after eight years of trying to get one. I finally got one up in Queens and I got a job and I, I'm going to be able to pay my rent and the smile on his face, and I just sort of realized at that moment, I was sort of like, wow, you know? How often I sort of like, you know, don't think about all the gifts and blessings that I have. Um, and I thought about him as I wrote this song. It's called Lost in Time. along the Bowery, worn down as can be, lost until you found me, laying face down in the street, lost until you brought me in from the wind and cold, lost until you taught me, I don't have to live alone.
sound man's nightmare. No, no, not at all. You're good. Well, thank you all for being out on this rainy, rather unpleasant night. So, uh, I live in Brooklyn, New York, and, uh, and during the pandemic, I was a, I was a school teacher in Manhattan. And what I used to do is I used to take the subway, like everybody else in New York City, take the subway for train, and I would go into school. And this was during the pandemic time, and you could actually get a seat on the four train, believe it or not. <laughs> um, there still were a lot of people, a lot of people on that train. All those essential workers who were out there, you know, basically, they were basically, you know, putting their lives on the line for us day in and day out. And uh, I couldn't help but feel a sense of gratitude. And I knew that at some point, there'd have to be a song out of that. And, uh, after I got my head together and uh, I came up with this, this is called Today and Every Day, dedicated to everybody out there doing the work. like a prophet knows that I got a letter from a son stationed down in Fort Penny with a baby on the way I said how you doing grandma I watch that smile like a baby stiffness in my fingers. Don't you know, pain shoots up my spine. But there's no use in complaining. For well, this whole damn, this whole damn floor is mine. I polish every surface. To the whole world feels clean. Though I sometimes find things that shine. Often Get tired. Guess what? I'm Red Bull Wire. Sleep is but a fit to get. Miss Otaro's eyes. I feel the coolness of her skin. Oh, but I'm 
be there when one journey ends and another one people to actually say, you know, Lucas, that's a decent song. <laughs> and that always meant so much to me. Um, this is a song I wrote back when I lived in Mexico City way back in the day, back in the 80s. That tells you, you know, I've been around for a while, right? Um, but back then, I lived in Mexico City. I lived in this little place run by Quakers. It was called La Casa de los Amigos, House of Friends. And um, it was a cool place. Not only did they have, have kind of like dusty backpackers types like myself, but they actually had, you know, poets, writers, artists from all over Latin America because, you know, Mexico City is a real cultural hub, always has been. But um, what was really cool for me was it's the first time I got to meet refugees. So there were refugees coming in, asylum seekers from all over Latin America, especially from Central America, and they would come to La Casa de los Amigos and they would sort of like get help with uh, med any kind of medical stuff that they needed, legal things, um, you know, so it was a real stopping place for them. And I got to hear their stories. And um, many years later, I ended up reading this book uh, by Sonia Nazario called um, Enrique's Journey. And all those memories, all those stories came back to me. And that's where this song comes from. It's called Longing No Border Can Take. Out of sight on this Chiapas night, grasping, we pull ourselves on. Strapped to the bars between winding cars, learned as we watched others fall. Hunter's leg cut off when he slipped from the top, led to death in the arms of his mother. Oh, swing your meaning, your longing, no water can change. 
before this rose. We shed most of our clothes. My brother swam right by my side. I reached the back, naked he sank to the bottom where his body still lies. Oh, oh, swing your cutting your your sweet lullaby. try something out on you. I can try something out on you. Okay. So, um, just a little bit of information. Um, this song is called Letters. And I wrote this song in honor of my mom and my grandfather. My grandfather was a veteran. Let's give it up for the veterans. I know there's some of y'all in here. Um, my grandfather was a veteran of World War II. He was in a particular regiment called the 442nd. Uh, 442nd was a segregated unit for Japanese American soldiers. And so um, he was one of the thousands and thousands of Japanese Americans who fought and gave their lives for this country during World War II. Um, during that time, my mom was just a toddler. She was just a little baby. And um, they had gone from Hawaii uh, where they grew up, where my mom grew up, where they lived, to New York City. Um, they were trying to be closer to him when he went to basic training. And then when he shipped off to the uh, front in Europe, you know, he wrote these letters to my mom. These beautiful little letters. I mean, I would love, if it, I, I might even have some on my phone to share with you guys later if you want to look. But these are beautiful little letters. Um, and he had just such a way. He used to. He was an artist. We would. He would make these little drawings for her. A little bunny rabbits and little girls that he met in the clothing that they would wear, wooden shoes and all this kind of stuff. And uh, my mom just loved those letters. Just loved them. And she, she sort of like. She even became an artist because of those letters. You know what I found on the back of one of the letters? She had turned it over and she would trace it. She would trace <laughs> the images that he drew. So I'm sure that that inspired her to later become an artist, which she did. Um, now, for my grandfather, it was very, you know, it was difficult. Uh, not only was he putting his life on the line every day for the country that he loved, but his own father was put in a concentration camp just because he looked like an enemy. Um, and, and that was the story for, you know, that was the story for almost all, almost all Japanese Americans at that time. You know, we were... Actually, my family was lucky because we were from Hawaii. Um, they didn't they didn't intern Hawaiian Japanese Americans. Where everybody on the West Coast, everybody, families, little kids, old people, all went into the concentration camps. So my grandfather never made it back. He was killed on what would have been his thirtieth um, birthday, and so we have his memory and we have the letters to uh, to remember him. This song is called Letters. <laughs> Chilly winds may blow, but I know the spring will surely come. Dearest Mickey, snow will start to thaw, and the tall hills will start to glow. And purple clover and daffodil, colors bright and true. And the sky above me could it be more blue, ne, ne, blue. Do you see the 
same sky too. Outlines that you trace, pencil placed in the tiny artist's hand. Dearest Mickey, here's a kitten from the shed. We keep her fed, now she's never far away. No fire to warm us. This soldier's life. Send our prayers to Grandpa, for he sleeps alone Down this God-forsaken trail With words that fail To make amends Dear Mickey If your fingers touch the pages Through the ages Will our story ever end? It's there for you Children in wooden shoes oh. A rabbit hopping by Promise me you'll be a big girl. Drink your milk and don't you cry. who want to study music, and also for teachers now, right? For educators, and as a former teacher, I can't tell you, uh, some of my favorite teachers were the music teachers, because they were always sort of like, they always had the kids engaged in singing, and um, it just always inspired me, and inspired me to do more music in the classroom. So let's give it up to all those music teachers out there. <laughs> So I just, if it's all right, I want to do a song for you. I'm going to dedicate it to my wife right there. Her name is Jennifer. What's up, Jen? And um, she, she don't like me to say this, but I'm going to say it anyway. I'll say it in a different language, okay? So um, she just finished up her time at the Department of Education in New York City about a year ago. What? And, um, you know, so, and I finished up there about mm, three years ago now. And so, you know, we're finding our way in terms of finding out you know, what's next? What, what are we going to do with ourselves now with this, <laughs> with this small amount of time, you know, that we have uh, in our lives, you know? What's our next step? And uh, this is about that journey together. Um, this is called Time Enough. Time enough for living. Our time has just begun. Time enough to gaze upon all the glory of the sun. This time enough for laughter. Guess what? There's time. This time enough for tears. 
Time enough to chart our course through these uncertain years. Hill it's river flowing by. Meet the shelter of a clear blue sky. Time enough to chase the dreams we'll be dreaming of. This time enough for gratitude. Time enough for praise. Time enough to cherish every smile that fortune sends our way. It's time enough to sunder. Oh, there'll be time. Time enough to mend. Oh, the tapestry that binds us to our. Time enough to greet the dawn. Time to embrace the stranger with a welcoming song. And there's time enough for vanity. There's time to search the skies above. There's time enough for giving this work. There's time enough for love. say that it uh, has a lot of darkness in it, but it also has a lot of hope, too. So, uh, well, it's, it's, you can say this is a song that you submitted to the contest. Oh, yes, sorry. This is a song that I submitted to, um, Barry has an amazing contest here um, at, at Music for Humanity, and um, it, uh, this song, We, I submitted it. Um, I met, I think I met you over at uh, NERFA. And you were saying, yeah, Lucas, why don't you sit with that song? That song that I heard you play at the open mic yeah. over at, uh, in Holmesdale. And I was like, yeah, I have 110 songs. This would be one of your songs. Oh, God. No pressure there. <laughs> <laughs> and this song is called Lee. And today I'm going to, um, I usually dedicate it to, um, to children. And uh, today I'm going to dedicate dedicated to the children of Gaza. Trembling child grass, mothers, silver cross, 
every hope of sleepless night for the humanity we've lost. No tender arms of comfort here in the dark, the abyss. Is this who we become? Have we always been like this?